Uh, man, I can't believe it. I don't know what else to do. This is my only choice. I, I have to escape into the nether. I, I don't I don't know what's going on here exactly, but I gotta get out of here. In case you're wondering how I got in this situation, if you remember last time, I had gone on a journey to get a treasure and I had found a way to get another Redathium sword. Well, little did I know that while I was away, Galgaroth has gotten out of his prison. Either somebody let him out or he found a way out. And all hell broke loose. Of course, he was after me and he was hell bent on doing anything he could to find me. He started destroying Nosfordon and I had no choice but to escape into the nether. I was gonna just destroy the portals and hopefully he had no way of coming after me. And so you, you'll never guess what happened. I, I have to escape into the nether. I, I, don't, I don't know what's going on here exactly, but I gotta get out of here. What the heck? Where? Where am I? Oh, I need I need to break this portal. Quick. I have no idea. I, I thought I'd be in the nether. Oh my gosh, I can't break it. Oh man. Oh, I can't break it. I, I gotta get out of here. Where the heck am I? This doesn't look like Nosferdon. What is going on? What is that in the distance? Oh my gosh. Look it. It's a broken bridge. Where am I? I don't even know what is going on right now. Oh, there's pillagers. What is that place over there? I cannot believe this. Man. Over the past couple months, I guess several months, I've been just living basically underground. And over this time, I still don't have any idea how I got to this place. Not that I'm complaining, really. Because this is a beautiful place. It's way better than the nether would have been. That's where I thought I was escaping to. But I'm, I'm just baffled. Like, what happened? Anyway... I've just been roaming around trying to survive in the darkness and I've only been traveling at night anywhere on the, you know, above ground in fear of Galgaroth, you know, finding me and, and unleashing his wrath on this new world. This, this world is so amazing. It's, it's cleaner somehow. It's not tainted. It's almost like before Galgaroth came to Nosfordon. I don't know, the only way I could describe this is is like a parallel world or some kind. I don't even know how to put it in proper words, but anyway. So I destroyed this portal and I should take it all down. I, I don't even want a chance ever opening it back up to Galgarath. And I'm tired of being in hiding at this point so I I think I'm gonna go actually explore this world and see what what there is to offer here and maybe build a home somewhere 
and I just hope that <clears throat> I just hope that Galgaroth never comes back and open and somehow I, I expose him to this world, you know. Uh oh, we got some company already. Uh -huh. I have to take this guy down. There we go. Oh man. Okay, well I can't go into a village now because I got I'm gonna have to drink some milk or something. I don't wanna bring wrath of the pillagers to this to a village here in this new place. So anyway, I've been collecting, as you can see, quite a lot of things. And uh, I've made myself a couple of backpacks. So. So we're going to have to see here. Let me eat. We're going to have to see what we can carry in our backpacks. Um. Actually, for now, I'm just going to leave this here. We're going to go exploring a bit in the daytime and see if we can't find a place maybe to build our home, you know? Check out this, this amazing place. Uh, at this point, I have no idea what this continent is called. I just know that it's, it is huge. What is this? There's a cart of some sort. And I've just come to call it the ultimate survival world whoa look at this there's enchantment books in this wow I don't know if I should take anything from here I have no idea whose place this is I don't want to you know, steal from somebody and get them upset with me already right off the right in the beginning of trying to establish myself here in this world. Oh my gosh, so let's just, let's just go for it. Let's just go north and see what we come across. Maybe we could find a, I don't know, like a, like a cow or something. We could get some milk just to get that, that bad omen off. Because if I was to happen to go into a village, I would bring... Whoa, what is that? Oh my gosh. That looks like a, a nether portal, doesn't it? It's broken. Looks amazing, though. It's like a ruined portal of some sort. I wonder what happened here. Yeah, the nether is bleeding into this place. Somebody must have broken that one too. I wonder if it has anything to do with where I came from and if it's like some kind of travel through a you know parallel world or some sort. I don't know, I'm just, I just don't know how to wrap my head around it all of this and what happened and more than that I have no idea what happened to anybody else Blaubart Cronkers you know Nelly and uh, the ultimate Triton I don't know what happened to those guys if they survived if they you know I, I don't I don't know where they went I don't know if I'll ever see them again if they did I just have so many questions I don't know, none of them have been answered at this point. As close as I can figure, I've been here for, I would say maybe three, four months, and uh, I really haven't gone out like this. This is the first time. And it's, you know, just because I don't want to bring any kind of danger to this world or these people, if there is any people here so far, I've seen nobody. So, like I said, this world is beautiful and it's, and it's just that the air is clean. It's like, 
it's like a brand new brand new world you know i don't know and these trees are, are somehow different they're, they're bigger they're beautiful but i have not come across any kind of life i mean other other than animals of course but i mean no no people no villagers the pigs What are we coming to? Oh, look. Look at out there. There's there's a boat and a dock. It's like open ocean out here. Yeah, there's definitely signs of... Oh, look at There's a villager. Oh, man. I don't know. I can't go into this village. I'm going to bring... going to bring a bad omen to them. going to have to swim around it. So that I don't cause a problem here. I really don't want to. Just kind of go unnoticed, you know? Eventually we'll... We'll talk to them. I just don't want to bring a bad omen to them. I want to make it as polite and as... As, you know, good of a meeting first time as possible. The landscape is just different here, isn't it? Like I said, I've just never seen anything quite like this. It's getting to be dark. At least sunset's coming. I want to get around this if this is a village. I mean, I'm assuming it's a village just because there's a dock there and there's a villager out, out on the dock, you know? What is that? There's a... That's that's dark oak, isn't it? Those are huge trees, man. There's a bridge going across. I wonder what's over there. Oh, this was what I was looking for. The woods. The taiga. Oh, I better sleep. Well, first I better eat, I guess. And then I'll go to sleep. It's a new day, and uh, I've reached what I was looking for. I wanna, I wanna make a home in the taiga forest. You know, I really, really do. It's my favorite place to be, and I found it already. Look at these trees; they're amazing. I can't believe this. How beautiful this place is. ever seen anything like this wow I'm just in awe can't believe I've been here for months and I've just haven't admired this beauty I don't know maybe this is the place huh this is the place I'm gonna make my home on this this world at least at least until something else until I find out more information got to live oh look at this there's like a little island there this is perfect this is my place right here how do I get across here oh crap okay, let's swim up here I think this is it guys this is it right here this is my spot got my pillager flag I think this is where we're gonna build our home here on this place I call the ultimate survival world I'm gonna work on my house and I'll, I'll see you guys soon <laughs>